What is up, everybody? Welcome to Guys and Bets Quickies for this lovely Thursday. Uh, Ninja here with Joe Osborne, of course, and we're coming off, I'll call it a sweep dog show yesterday, 3-0, and but the Tigers yep. White Sox was postponed. We've got more baseball pick picks here today. I've got one. Joe's got one. Joe's also got an NBA pick from tonight's card. But Joe, get us started on the diamond. What are you looking at in Major League Baseball? Yeah, we're going deep into the heart of Texas where we're going to take the Rangers on the F5 money line coming in at minus 105 versus the Red Sox. Here's why I like this bet. Texas has been a mild surprise this season and I think they can keep up offensively versus the Sox. Over the last two weeks, they come in at a respectable 10th in WRC Plus, slightly behind Boston, who ranked 10th. That's pretty close, but the starting pitching matchup isn't. Kyle Gibson, suddenly the stop ace, has been out of his mind, posting a 0.67 ERA in his last four starts and 14 innings pitched at home this season. He still hasn't allowed a run. His counterpart, Marin Perez, comes into the game with a 5.71 ERA and has just four more strikeouts than earned runs on the season. To conclude, this has been a money-making spot for Texas as their fourth in F5 profits on the season. Next up, we're gonna go to the NBA, a player prop I like quite a bit. Also deep in the heart of Texas uh, with the Bucks in Houston to take on the Rockets. We're gonna take Giannis Atatatupo. I think that's how you pronounce it. We're gonna take the over on his points and rebounds coming in at 38 and a half. Let's get into it. This is a fantastic matchup for Giannis versus a Rockets team that ranks 27th in points allowed in the paint over the last 10 games. In the same span, the big man is third in the NBA in points scored in the paint at 16.3. He's also getting to the free throw line almost 10 times per game. Should also be able to take advantage of Houston, who is allowing the third most rebounds per game over the last 10. He's tied for fifth in the NBA in rebounds per game at 11.4 in the span. And as I like to say, he just needs to be average versus a very below average opponent to whip this number. This month, he's averaging 40.8 points and rebounds per game, which is right in line with his averages for this season. Give me Giannis over 38 and a half points and rebounds. Over to uh, Major League Baseball, and I'm looking in the National League West here. Rockies at Diamondbacks tonight. I'm going to go with the underdog here. I'm going to go with the Rockies, plus 135. It was plus uh, 139 earlier today. Now a little bit of a movement down to plus 135. Antonio Sensatella gets the ball for the Rockies, and while he's gotten off to a slow start, he was fantastic against Arizona back on April 7th. He went eight innings, allowed just four hits, no runs, struck out three, walked a pair, and what was... An 8-zip Rockies win. And some of these Rockies hitters have some pretty favorable numbers against Luke Weaver. Ryan McMahon hitting 333 with three homers. Trevor Story and Garrett Hampson each hitting 286. Rymel Tapia is hitting 500. Weaver faced the Rockies back on April 6th and allowed four hits and three earned runs over five and two-thirds in what was ultimately a 10-8 D-backs win. And after a slow start, the Rockies' bullpen is kind of showing some positive signs here. The pen had a 580 ERA through their first 16 games of the season. But since, since April 19th, the ERA has been 3.82. Plus, the Rockies are 5-3 over that stretch. All hope Senzatella repeats his April 7th performance against the D-backs and go with the Rocks' money line here today on the diamond. So there you go, GMB quickies, three picks, two in baseball, one in the NBA, as wonderfully pronounced by our Joe Osborne. Catch Joe tomorrow live on YouTube, noon Eastern, 9 Pacific, for the full Guys and Bet show, where Jill Gallant will be sitting opposite him to host the show. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your bets. Catch y'all tomorrow.